give everyone a few minutes. Everyone's just kind of finishing up work from home time and then we'll practice. So if you didn't catch my story a little bit earlier, if you have um, a strap or a towel or a tie, um, it's great. You know, like a tea towel or a washcloth even works. Um, otherwise, don't worry about it. We will totally make do without it as well, okay? Should we have some water? How's everyone doing today? Send me some hearts or something. How are you guys feeling? I like when I see hearts on the lives. They get me excited. Hi, Jen. Miss Cullen. chance to grab the mats, get changed, and find your comfortable spot. And then we'll go from there. Alright. Just one more minute goes by so fast and I want to be mindful of everybody's time I see you mm -hmm. all right so let's get started so first of all thank you for everyone for coming in for joining uh, for taking time out to Focus on your practice, what do you say? Oh, no, you don't want to be in the video. Um, okay, so we're just gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna move bum flushes out of the way. I'm just gonna take a few shoulder rolls back, and then a few forwards. Making sure that belly button is drawing in and up. Crown of the head towards your sky. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead as you close your eyes. And then exhale. Releasing the breath and placing your hands in your heart center. Taking another deep inhale. Exhaling. Placing your hands. Palms turn face up. Softening the space between the eyes, between the brows. Separating the tongue away from the roof of the mouth and the lips part. Softening the jaw, maybe wiggling it out a little bit to release. Chin tucks in slightly, shoulders roll back. Belly button draws in. You can keep the hands here, palms turn face up if you want to receive, or we can place the left hand over the heart and the right hand over the belly. I always like to place the left hand over the heart and the right hand over the belly because then I can feel the connection of the heartbeat under the left hand with the rise and fall of the belly with every inhale and exhale of the breath. So theme that I've been working with over here in my own personal practice this week is infusing compassion. I thought that we could bring that affirmation and that mantra to our practice, to our mats today, collectively together. And infuse that compassion to our practice, to our bodies, to our minds and to our hearts. Remembering that as we go through this unique experience together, that we're gonna have days where individually we will be granted more energy than others. We will be granted more grace 
than other days. You will be granted more strength. And you will be granted more release. And as our days flow together and string together, no two days will be the same. Remembering that in the days when we are able to do more or do less, accomplish more, accomplish less. As long as we bring ourselves back to that space of compassion, holding that space for ourselves to experience what we need to experience in every moment, with every breath, and every day. And as the thoughts wander, back to the breath, a seemingly simple task that can require great focus, great discipline, great strength. And all of that is okay. we return to our center we return to our intention we return home and slowly bring your awareness back into your body deepening the inhale Letting go with a sigh on the exhale, bring the arms all the way up overhead. Bringing the palms together, drawing them into your heart center into prayer onto the mudra and then gently blinking the eyes open. Welcome to the room, welcome to your practice. So we're going to warm up the body first and foremost. So we're just gonna plant our hands on the mat. Come up onto all fours right away. We're going to roll through some cat and cows. So on the inhale, we draw the tail to the back of the head as we gaze up towards that space between the ceiling and your wall. On the exhale, we push the floor away from us, rounding the spine, gazing to the space between the legs, separating those shoulder blades. Inhale, melt the heart, look up. Shoulders are away from those ears, belly button still stays strong. Pulling up and back towards that spine. Exhale, round the back as if you want to touch your ceiling with the tops of your shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhaling, round the back. One more time. Inhale, coming into cow. Face is nice and soft. Exhale, round the spine. Really exaggerating the movements here as you roll into puppy. Coming through a neutral spine, left ear towards that left hip, and then over to the opposite side, puppy on the right, right ear towards the right hip. One more time, each side, left ear towards that right, sorry, towards the left hip. Rolling through center and finding that puppy on the right side. From here, we're going to push up on the exhale. Inhale, come down to the left, find your puppy. Exhaling again, find cat, or sorry, find cow. <sighs> Puppy on the right. Fluid motion here, circling out the spine, rolling into that sexy cat-like movement. Exaggerating the movements here, following your breath. And then rolling in the opposite direction for two full rounds.
and then after the last cat stretch, find your way to a neutral spine. We're gonna take the toes and place them on the mat. Lift the knees up as you bring yourself up into downward facing dog. So right away, rolling into that downward facing dog, rolling the hips from side to side. Ears are in line with the biceps. Fingers are spread nice and wide. Heels down towards your mat. Lift the heels up. And then exhale, heels towards your mat. Bend the knees, shift the chest towards the tops of your thighs and begin to straighten out those legs ever so slightly. Bend the knees again, shift back more. Straighten the legs. Two more breaths here in your downward facing dog. Beginning to open up those hamstrings here. And then slowly walk the feet up towards your hands. Inhale, look up, half back stretch, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, crown of the head, whoop, towards the floor. There goes my scarf. Inhale, come all the way up. Palms together. Bring them into your heart center and release. Inhale, rise up. We're gonna grab onto the left wrist with the right hand and Hinge over towards your right. Nice long side body stretch here. Grounding down through the four corners of that left foot. Lifting up and out of the hips. Inhale, come up through center. Grabbing onto the right wrist with the left hand. Pull the belly button in. Tuck the tail. Lift up and out of those hips and fold over to your left side. Beautiful, inhale, come back to center. Release the hands, palms together behind your back. Straighten out those elbows as best as you can and bring the heels, the hands together if it's available to you. Inhale, lift up nice and tall. And as you exhale, we're gonna sit back into our Utkatasana chair, folding the chest over the thighs, drawing the crown of the head towards your floor, leading the hands forward as you slowly begin to straighten out those legs but just keeping a soft bend behind the knees. Maybe shifting from side to side here or just hanging out in center, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Toes are lifting up and then place each one of them down on your mat. Breathe here. Allowing the crown of the head and the hands to be heavy, drawing the crown of the head closer towards your floor. Weight is evenly distributed through the four corners of both feet and the seat, those hips are right over top of the ankles. Two more breaths here. With each inhale, we lengthen and create space in the spine. Exhale, fold deeper. Release the hands. Inhale, look up, half back stretch, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold. Open those arms like airplane wings. Come all the way up, leading with the chest, leading with the heart, palms together. And release. Inhale, shine up. Exhale, fold over to your right. Inhale up through center and exhale over to the left. Inhale back through center. This time we're going to open the chest, those heels, the hands are together. Lift the heart, lifting the torso up and out of the hips. Beautiful, come back through center and fold all the way back down. Inhale, look up, half back stretch. Exhale, fold. Walking the hands here over to the left side. You wanna keep the hips over top of those ankles. And we're just creating a little bit of a side body stretch here and a little bit of a, a, an opening through that left hip and the lower back through that sciatic nerve here. Can you fold a little deeper? Can you reach a little further? Two more breaths. <sighs> Inhale. And exhale, walk the hands back to center. Look up, half back stretch on the inhale. Ardha Uttanasana, fingertips stay on the mat or they can be placed on the shins. Always remembering what our options are. Exhale, fold down, crown the head towards your mat and walk the hands over to the right side. We're imagining that we're pulling that floor towards us. That, towards us. That's what's gonna create that resistance and deepen that stretch. Inhale, lengthen. 
exhale, move deeper. Walk the hands further. Pull that floor towards you. One more deep breath here. Soften the shoulders. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, look up, half back. Exhale to fold. Open those arms like airplane wings. Come all the way up. Palms together. And release one more time. Inhale, shine up. Exhale over to your right. Inhale up through center. Exhale over to the left. Inhale back up through center. Open up the chest. This time allow the arms to open. Really create space through the chest, through the heart. Inhale back through center and exhale fold all the way down this time inhale look up half back stretch and on the exhale You're gonna step the left foot to the outside of the right foot so that right leg is straight And there's a soft bend in the left knee How's everyone doing? All right Inhale look up half back stretch here exhale fold the hands don't touch the floor, that's okay. We can just place them on the shin. Maybe we want to grab onto opposing elbows to create a little bit of weight here, drawing that crown of the head down. So almost we wanna fold the chest and the abdomen over top of those thighs. Both, four, both sets of four corners of the feet are grounded into the earth, okay? That right leg is straight. Left knee is slightly bent. Breathe. Breathe into the resistance where you feel the tension. Use your breath. That's what creates space, that's what creates the opening, and that's what brings that fresh oxygenated blood into our muscles, into that, that fascia that we have. The fascia is like, um, it's uh, these like bands of tissue that run diagonally across our bodies and that's what creates a lot of our tightness. We want to open up that fascia. So when we do these kind of side stretches, that's what we're opening up. Inhale, look up, half back. Exhale, step the left foot back to center and fold nice and deep. Grab onto those opposing elbows and just rock from side to side. Maybe shaking the head no. And then yes to surrender. And then gently come back to stillness. Place the fingers on the floor on your shins. Look up. Lengthen the shoulders away from the ears. And on your next exhale, place the right foot to the outside of your left. Four corners of both feet. Anchor into your mat. That left leg is straight, but not locked. And the right knee is bent. Breathe here. Drawing that chest closer to the tops of thighs. Shake the head out, no. Yes to surrender to make sure that we're not tightening in those shoulders. Breathe into the resistance. Create that space. Infuse compassion here into that tightness, into the discomfort. Breathe. more breaths, making sure we're not rolling onto the outer edges of those feet. Feet flam firmly planted into the mat. Beautiful inhale, come up, half back. Exhale, step that right foot back to center, fold down. This time, if it's available to you, two options. Yogi, um, index finger together, thumbs, loop around. The big toe, option one. Option two, maybe the forearms come behind the shins. If neither option is available, that is okay. Hang out here, okay? One, two, three. Yogi's choice. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale. If you're choosing to wrap your index fingers and thumbs around your toes, bend the elbows out to the side as you draw the crown of the head towards your mat. If the shins, or if the forearms are behind the calf muscles, fingertips are pointing down, and we're folding that chest over top of those thighs. Breathe, we're opening up the hamstrings today, really getting into 
that back body that's kind of taking the brunt of us sitting down, right? So our hips and our hamstrings, our lower backs all get tightened and our shoulders get tightened the more we sit, right? I'm just gonna open up our bodies here. Inhale, look up, half back stretch. Exhale, fold. From here, we're gonna just step that right foot back, place that right knee on the mat, unhook the toes, top of the foot on your mat. Inhale, reach up, nice opening here. Interlace the thumbs together, draw the hands up, and then lift up and out of those hips. Open the chest and the heart, really lean back here. Opening up that front hip flexor, the front of our bodies. Exhale, touch back down. Hook the toes in towards the mat. Place that right heel on the mat. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Just one little opening here for warrior two. Palm turn, face up, reach back. Exalt your warrior. Open that chest, open that front body one more time. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Unhook the right heel. Place the right foot beside the left. Left foot steps back this time. Left knee down. Unhook the toes. Place the top of that left foot on your mat. Reach the arms up and shift the weight forward. Interlacing those thumbs if it's available to you. Reach up and out of the hips. Belly button draws in and up. Open the heart to the sky. Breathe. Square hips to the front of your mat. Two car headlights leading you forward. Breathe, soften the shoulders away from the ears. Open that chest a little bit more. Can you reach back a little further? Lift out of the hips a little bit more. Breathe, inhale. And then exhale, touch down, unhook, or sorry, hook the toes into the mat and bring the left heel to onto the mat. Heel to arch alignment, bring the arms up. Warrior one, exhale, open, warrior two. One quick breath here, turn the palm up, reach up and back, exalt your warrior, open that chest. Exhale, windmill the hands all the way down. And we're gonna bring that right foot back to meet the left, one chaturanga, come either all the way down or halfway. And then yogi's choice if we're coming into upward facing dog or cobra. Remembering that in upward facing dog, only the tops of the feet and the hands touch the mat. And in cobra, those elbows, are bent back, squeezing themselves towards that torso. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. From here, we're just gonna step that left foot forward and we're gonna place the right knee on the mat. We're gonna come up onto the outer edge of that left, left foot, top of the right foot, down on your mat. Inhale, breathe and lengthen here. Yogi's choice, you can stay up or we come down to the forearms. Breathe. If we wanna take it further still, maybe we place that left hand to the inside of the left thigh and gently give it a little push, open a little deeper. It's just a small guy, we're not forcing it, it's just a little gentle weight. One more breath. Exhale. Walk the hands back. Bring that foot back to the mat. Touch back. Downward facing dog. One breath here. And then on the exhale, step the right foot forward to the outside of the hands. Left knee touches down. Top of the left foot is down. And then roll over onto the outer edge of that right foot. Yogi's choice, stay up here if we need to. Maybe we wanna take it further, we come down onto the forearms. If we're on our forearms, we wanna make sure that we're even. If it, if it kinda of looks like you're halfway, stay up, okay? So honor where you are. Infuse that compassion into your practice. If we stay up, stay up. If you can take it further, great. Not a requirement, just an option. If it feels good to place that right hand on the right thigh, and gently leading it open a little bit more. Go there. Two deep breaths. Infuse that softness into that hip, loosening up the glute here. Three. Neck is long. Inhale. Exhale, come back. Place that top of this place, sorry, the foot on the mat. Wiggle it back to center. 
and then bring the right foot back to meet the left downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Breathe. Up onto the tippy toes, bend the knees, and we're gonna hop our way all the way into our sweet seat for a little twist before we come down onto our backs, do a last um, hip and sciatic opener. And then that's it, Shavasana, you're done. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist, place the right hand to the outside of the left thigh. The left fingertips are right at the base of the spine. If it's available to you, maybe that left hand, maybe the left fingertips can reach around and grab onto the right thigh. Again, not a requirement, just a suggestion. From here, if this feels good, we can turn our gaze to the back of our mat. If that's too much on the neck, gaze is forward. Yogi's choice, one inhale. And then exhale, gently release, reach the arms up. Exhale. Twist over to the right side. Left hand to the outside of that right thigh. Right fingertips at the base of the spine. If it feels good to reach around and grab onto the hip or the inside of the left thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, turn the gaze towards the back of your mat or forwards. Wherever feels better for your neck today. One more inhale. Exhale, gently come back to center as you inhale. Arms up, exhale, palms together. So we're gonna turn and we're gonna flip onto our backs. And you're gonna grab your scarf or your strap or your tie, your towel, whatever you brought with you. And we're just gonna lie down on our backs. I don't know if you can see properly. And we're just gonna squeeze the knees in towards the chest. So we're just gonna rock from side to side here rolling around, giving the back a nice little massage. Moving in one direction and then moving in the opposite direction. And then come to stillness and center. Wrap the arms around the shins. Inhale, lengthen. Flex the feet, spread the toes, and as you exhale, bring the nose up towards those knees and squeeze yourself into a tight little ball. Maybe you can grab onto the outside edges of those feet. Inhale, and exhale, touch both feet on your mat. Grab onto that strap, that scarf, towel, the tie, wherever you are, and place it around the ball of the right foot. So you're gonna straighten out that right leg as best as you can here. If this feels good, can lengthen out the left leg onto the mat, keeping the foot flexed and the toe spread because you want to keep strength and energy in that left foot. If this feels good, we draw that foot closer towards our face. There is a hair on my strap. Breathe. Creating space in that hamstring and the calf. That lower back is flat on your mat. Both feet are flexed, energy out through both heels. Shoulders are soft. With every exhale, maybe that foot draws a little bit closer. And take an inhale. And from here, we're gonna place both ends of our strap into the left hand. Now, if we don't have a strap on hand, our hands are behind our calf, maybe they're at the ankles, or maybe they're on the foot, wherever you can reach, while keeping the integrity in the shoulders and the tops of, or the top of your back and shoulder blades soft, okay? So wherever you are. If you have the strap, we're gonna grab the straps into the left hand. We're gonna open the right hand out to the side, palm turned face down, and we're just gonna cross that foot over our body and making sure that we're not completely popping up and dropping all the way down just yet. We want to keep control here as we slowly open up, okay? So you wanna find the point where you can still have muscle engagement and that palm is still on the floor. I wanna inhale and then exhale, you can go ahead and drop that foot to the floor if it's available to you, coming into that twist. One breath here. 
exhale, and then the inhale, come all the way back to center, switch out the hands, and then open that right leg out to the side. Now, here's the trick with when you're opening up the side. You want to make sure we don't pop that left hip up off your mat. It's anchored as if there was a nail in that hip, bolting it to your floor, okay? And so as we open up the right leg, we're drawing that foot up towards that right shoulder. If it helps, sometimes it's useful to place the left hand on the left hip to make sure that it stays square and stays anchored. Left leg is still straight and strong if it's straightened out on the mat. If this is too much, you need to bring that knee up and place the foot on the mat, that's okay too. One more breath. Exhale, bring that right foot back to center. Unhook the strap and just let it come all the way down, straight and strong, and just feel the difference from side to side. The right leg might feel longer, might feel more open, more relaxed. Take a breath. And exhale, bend both knees, place both feet on your mat, and then bring the mat around the ball of the left foot. Now both sides of the body are different, okay? So this side might feel more open, it might feel like there's more tightness. You guys? Okay. Sorry, it's my battery is dying. We're almost done. All right, so switching out the strap, bringing it into the left hand. That right leg is either straight on the mat or the foot is on the mat and the knee is bent. And we open up to the left side. Two breaths here, making sure that right hip stays anchored to the mat. Both feet are flexed. Breathe. Beautiful, gently coming back to center. Release the strap from the foot, place the foot on the mat. Take a moment here, exhale. Reach the arms up overhead, give yourself a tall, tall stretch. And on the exhale, bring the soles of the feet together, open the knees out so that they drop to either side of your mat, finding your way into Supta Baddha Konasana, placing the left hand over the heart and the right hand over the belly, just as we did at the beginning of our practice. Closing those eyes again, finding our way into our Shavasana here, into our final resting pose, so we can release and also reap the benefits from our practice. Closing the eyes, softening, softening the space between the brows, Releasing the jaw, tongue away from the roof of the mouth, lips part and separate. And taking another deep inhale, exhale, lengthen out onto the mat. When you're ready, hug both knees in towards your chest and roll over onto your right side. Pausing for a moment, and then when you're ready, making your way up to your cross-legged seated position, to your sweet seat, to your Sukhasana, moving bum fleshes out of the way, rolling the shoulders back. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead, close the eyes. Placing a beautiful yogi smile on your lips, bringing your hands into your heart center into prayer, Anjali Mudra. Bowing your head with gratitude, thanking for yourself for committing to your practice today. And always remembering that wherever you are on your journey, on or off the mat, that you are always enough as you are, where you are, who you are today and every single day. From my heart, each and every one of yours. Namaste. Thank you guys. I hope you feel good. Um, sorry if I ran, I had my battery kind of was dying a little bit. So if I disconnected, I apologize. Um, if there's, uh, yay, you're welcome, Andy. Oh, I have my two Andys on. Um, 
if there's a time that is better for you guys, let me know what it is. If there's something you guys want to work on, let me know what that is. Um, I'm here for you, and I will see you next week. Okay? Love you lots. Namaste, guys. Ciao, ciao.